Hi, and welcome to this video about whether or not you should let your child choose the books that they read. I feel really strongly about this topic, and I'm excited to share my thoughts with you today. If you haven't yet, please hit like on this video and subscribe to the channel so that you get notified whenever a new video is released. Okay, so today we're talking about whether or not you should let your child choose the books that they read. And the simple answer to this one is yes. And I want to share three reasons why you should let your child choose the books that they read. And then I also want to share some common concerns that parents have when they're letting their kids choose their books and how to address those. So first of all, three reasons why your child should choose the books that they read. And the first one is because the more that kids can choose what they read, the more excited and motivated they will be to spend time reading. It makes sense, right? I mean, as an adult, we're more motivated to learn and study about topics that we're interested in. So why wouldn't our kids be the same way? Well, they are. And so the more that we can let our kids choose their own books and choose the topics that they're reading about and the kinds of stories that they're interested in to be reading, the more that they will be excited and motivated to learn. Second, letting our kids choose the books that they read helps them take ownership for their own education. And this is really important as well. We want to be raising kids who are lifelong learners and lifelong readers. And so allowing them to choose the books that they read now will help them to be able to begin to take ownership over the learning that they're doing and to be able to learn about that life skill. And that leads me to the third reason that we should let kids choose their own books, which is that it helps them to learn the skill of how to choose a book that's appropriate for them and a book that they're interested in. And this is actually something that takes practice. Kids need to learn how to look at a book and evaluate whether or not it's going to be one that they can read and whether or not it's gonna be one that they would enjoy reading. And they need to learn what to do when they pick up a book, how to assess those things, and then also what to do if they get a book and discover that they don't like it or are really struggling to read it. And so those are all important skills for us to have our kids practice, and we can work with them on that as we let them choose their books. I also wanted to mention, though, that it is okay to veto your child's choice if you believe that they have not chosen a book that's going to be good for them. Um, one thing that we need to keep in mind as parents is our kids' reading level in comparison to the difficulty level of the book. If the book seems like something that's just going to be totally frustrating to your child and something that's just going to cause them to struggle and really not have success with reading, then it would be okay to gently suggest a different book that's slightly easier instead. You want to be really careful with your language when you're doing this. You don't want to really make a big deal out of the fact that the book is too hard, um, but really instead just try to gently steer your child toward an easier choice. It's also okay to veto a book if you feel that its content is too advanced for your child's maturity level or age, or you feel like the content of the book just isn't appropriate and in alignment with your family's values. And I have a video about how to preview books so that you will know whether or not that is the case without actually needing to read them. And I will put a link to that video in the description of this one. But the thing to keep in mind is just that it's really important to make sure that you are teaching your child about the values that your family has for the books that you read and really communicating to them the importance of looking at a book before they choose it and really evaluating it in terms of its content. And so I think it's really okay in that instance to tell your child, no, this book isn't appropriate, and maybe communicate in a really general sense why that is, um, so that they can start to see those kinds of decisions that you make as an adult, and to understand how they might go about making similar decisions for themselves. It's also really important if your child is interested in a book, um, and you're kind of having that discussion about what they can and can't read, to try to give as many choices as possible, even within those contexts. So if you're in a situation where your child is consistently choosing books that are too difficult or choosing books that uh, are not appropriate for them for whatever reason, then you might try creating sort of a, a more defined choice for your child. 
by giving them a few books to choose from. So rather than giving them free reign of the entire library or bookstore and saying, choose some books, you might pick out two or three books that you know are an appropriate difficulty level and books that your child would enjoy, and then give them the option between those two or three to choose one. So that's a good way to help your child learn how to make a choice without having so many books to choose from. So hopefully this was helpful. Please share your thoughts about letting your child choose their own books in the comments.